Yeah, man, what's good with y'all, man? Um, a lot of my fans and a lot of my subscribers, you know, they've been asking me to talk about this Envy Kane situation. And, you know, I ain't really want to talk to that. It's like, nah, I'm fucking with y'all, man. Y'all know nobody been asking my dumb ass anything. But, yo, uh, yeah, man, your boy Envy Kane. It appears that he got himself in a little situation out there in Atlanta. So, you know, I didn't even know dude was out there. I don't really know too much about him other than he's a humongous GD from Brooklyn. I'm talking about one of the biggest GDs. And he got the O's, too, so you can call a nigga God. He's, he's the God GD. You know what I mean? And uh, apparently he was out there in Atlanta for a couple months or whatever. And somebody got the drop on him. And um, when I first heard about the news last night that, you know, he was robbed and somebody ran in the crib or whatever, I thought it was some BS. Because when I went to his page, it was like a lot of, um, it was stuff up there. But, you know, being that I don't even pay attention to his page anyway, I don't know what was missing. But, you know, um, when I did check his page and then I came back later, it was a couple things that was posted. Like, you know, he had a lot of his enemies and stuff posted on his page. You know, album coming soon and all of that kind of shit. So, you know, I still was a little... Nah, actually, that was when I was like, nah. It was, that was when I was like, nah. This shit gotta be real. And I had insult to injury. You know, they started deleting, like, all of his songs and stuff off of YouTube and his videos. And that's what basically made me like, yeah, this shit real. But, you know, they basically did him like a peep squeak. They could have killed him or whatever. But I guess they wasn't really... They ain't look at him like a threat or they, they ain't... I don't know. I just feel like, you know, when there's certain niggas who do certain things and you beefing with certain people and you run into a motherfucker, you don't treat a nigga like a peep squeak because that should have come back to you. You know what I mean? Uh, you know, obviously, it looked like a burglary situation. That's what it looked like to me. You know what I mean? Like, it looked like he, he ran up in there and dude wasn't even in the house. How he got the phone, I don't know. You know what I mean? It's probably not even, to be honest, it's probably not even a phone. That shit could be a motherfucking iPad. Who knows what that shit could be? Who knows what it is, really? It could be an iPod Touch. You know what I mean, that he just had all his music and shit connected to him. But one thing niggas gotta realize when you, like, going to these different states and these different cities and you using up these niggas resources and when I say resources I mean I'm talking about they bitches they plugs you know I mean you might be bringing your, your guys and shit out there you know I mean they gonna be fucking with niggas sisters cousins and all of that and y'all hogging up they spots that where they used to chill at they don't even want to be there no more you know what I mean like when you start moving like that you gotta lay shit down or it's not gonna last for long. You're gonna come into a confrontation. And if you get into a situation where a nigga run up in your crib and he got all your straps and you know he got access to your phone or whatever and he giving you 24 hours, like if you're gonna stay there, you're gonna have to lay some shit down, my boy, or <clears throat> get the fuck out of there. And you, when you do leave, you already know what that's gonna do to your reputation as the big GD. You know what I mean? So. That's just something that I just wanted to put in there. You know, when niggas, when you go out of town to these different states and these different cities, <clears throat> and you are, you ba you're, you're basically a foreigner. Nigga, you, you, you like a nigga off a of, off of motherfucking boat to these niggas. You know what I mean? Your accent different, your swag different, you ain't grow up with none of these niggas. So when you, when you go to these different cities and you using up all these resources, you gotta either be around them guys who respect you or you gonna have to be around your boys who, you know what I mean, who's gonna lay shit down and they gonna get the respect, you know what I mean? They gonna get it. So, you know, that's just what what, what I wanted to talk about. You know, and it's kinda hilarious, man. So I just wanna see like, as far as, you know, as far as a YouTuber, you know, how that situation go, being that someone else deleted his songs off. I wanna see like, if he'll be able to get those put back on. If not, damn, bro. That, that was a big ass blow right there and there ain't too much coming back from that until you know you put some wings on somebody you know and I ain't trying to promote no violence you know 
But, you know, when you're in the streets, when you're in the street shit, some things got to be done for, for everything else to continue, you know? So, yeah, it's your boy, Rob B, my D. Hit that like and that subscribe. And also, man, check out a couple of my other videos, too, that I got there. I got a music playlist. Um, I got a live news channel that I had just made. So, you know, you can check out that, too. And, um, yeah, man, holla at me.